you think those are going to change this world, man? It's already changed my life today, so I can't imagine what it's going to do tomorrow. My name is Isaac Iglesias. I'm originally from Colombia, South America. I moved to the United States when I was around two. Uh, since then, I lived around, I lived in Boston for 10 years. I lived in Florida for two, Canada for two, Philadelphia for another two. Then I came over to West Virginia University uh, to follow sport management uh, and business. My brand is uh, called Icon MGMT. It's a management and marketing brand uh, in the sport and entertainment industry. Right now, I'm mainly working with artists, entertainers, um, to help manage and build build their brand. Man, so it's, I wish there could be like one easy answer for that, but every day is, is a new challenge, especially doing it a little bit less than a year. I started a little bit less than a year ago. Um, I wake up, I have my daily goals, my daily tasks, my main really focus is, is to see how I can help improve these people's lives through my work. Like my main goal is to, is to grow as much my brand to help other people actually reach their dreams. So it's one day it could be going great, the next day it could be terrible, the third day it could be great again, but um, it really is how I'm feeling, how I'm waking up, what I'm doing every single day to improve, not for myself, but for the people I want to work so I guess this has been developing like my whole life. Um, growing up, my dad was an artist. Um, now he's a doctor. But um, I used to go to studio sessions, little, little punk concerts he used to play at, um, just band practice. And I was an athlete too. I played football and basketball, mainly football. Um, I was looking to play college sports and I tore my ligament my senior year, the best game I've ever had. Since then, it was like a reality check. Like, what the hell am I gonna do now? Um, but I've always loved those two, and it's been so fundamental, like art, music, and sports, athletics. And going into college, I really wanted to work in sport management, be an agent. Uh, since then, the idea has just grown, genuinely. Uh, I really am focused on Last summer, I was actually working with Atletico Madrid in, um, in Spain, and I was sitting next to this guy, and he was like one of the coolest, smartest guys I've ever met. His name was Adrian. Um, he was so influential to me just because he had so many ideas, and he actually, it was like a, a mentorship for like a month or two, um, but it really showed me what I could do. I, I got to like one of the best soccer teams in the world, and I'm like, if I can do this at 21, what can I do by the time I'm 30? So that summer, I actually uh, started like my business model on a PowerPoint. Uh, came back here to West Virginia uh, in September. I filed my LLC, and throughout this year, I've checked off pretty much my whole business plan. Um, obviously, due to COVID, things fell off, but it didn't really because it gave me so much time to think about my next plan, my next goal my next steps and every single day has just been building another brick, build another brick, another brick and eventually I'm going to build a wall and eventually it's going to be a house and eventually it's going to be a castle but it's a brick by brick process. Every day you got a little brick. Day to day, it could be very different. I feel like I'm very unconventional and I'm trying to, uh, to organize myself in a way that's regimented and I know exactly what to do but sometimes I'm so sporadic, but every day I, I, I try to wake up as early as possible. Um, I think about I, I think about what I need to do. I read a little bit, um, write down my daily to-do list, sit down at my desk, or take a long walk, um, and pretty much interact with the artists that I work with, um, see how I can build their brand, see how I can build my brand, and a little bit of networking too too crazy so far it's been hard it's been really hard I, I really I really wanted to start my own thing for such a long time and um, I didn't know how to start I met a few people here at, at college that really like influenced me and pushed me to be 
where I am today. And without them, I couldn't be who I am. So it took me like a year to two years in my head, writing things down, going to internships, going to class, talking to my professors, to finally being, like I said, reaching that point in, in Madrid to where like, this is what I want to do. This is what I'm going to do. And so far it's it's been slow, it's been fast, it's been everything in between. But uh, like you were saying, like you're living the dream, I'm living my dream because I know my dream's coming towards me and I'm going towards it. Yeah. I'm, I'm pushing that world, it's rippling and it's rippling right back and that's all I gotta say. You had to. I feel like my end game, man, I, 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 view, I, I wake up, well, I think about it every day like, where do I see my life 10, 20, 30 years from now? And it, and it, and it can change every day, but I just want to really work with the best athletes, the best artists in the world, um, and have an Im impact on their careers from a, from a professional standpoint, from a friendship standpoint, from a creative standpoint. I really just want to help people reach their dreams because if I know I can do that, then I know I can reach where I want to be. And it doesn't matter if I have the biggest building or the smallest little place. If I'm doing what I want to do with the people I want to do, that's pretty much my, my dream come true. Thanks. I never thought I'd get here. Like, I never imagined this would happen. Like, before college, I never had a job. Never in my life had a job. I come from a good family. Uh, really strong, really open-minded, really cultured. But I really wanted to be an athlete. Like, I breathed, lived football. I would practice every day after school. That's really what I only envisioned myself doing. And until the universe said, F that, man, that's not what we have in store for you. That's when I was like, I really challenged myself to use my head instead of just my body. And since then, in the last four years, I've been able to accomplish a lot of things that I could never imagine, but I knew I had something in me. And so far, I just I just feel like I'm getting closer to where I want to be. And I'm pretty much done school. So after this, it's just me going, going to where I need to be. When I think about legacy, I think about how people remember, remember me by and how my family remembers me by. Family's everything for me genuinely and if I can impact the future generations that come from me then I want them to know and have the ability to have confidence in themselves knowing that they can do what they really want to do because I'm doing what I really want to do I'm doing my dream and if I can have my kid or my grandkid or my great grandkid believe in their dream enough as I did then that's that's the biggest part for my legacy and obviously from a professional standpoint, if I can be remembered to be working with a guy like a Michael Jordan, a guy like a LeBron James, uh, a singer like a band like the Red Hot Chili Peppers or Metallica or, or, or Tupac or Biggie or anything like that, it doesn't matter. I just want to be remembered by the impact I had on someone's life. My life goals, obviously I love what I do, the brand I'm starting. Work isn't everything. There's, uh, well, it might, but other than that, I want to continue traveling the world. Um, I've traveled to selves little. I really love meeting new people, um, meeting new, seeing new cultures, experiencing new, experiencing new things. I really want to live a whole adventure, not stuck in one place. I've moved around my whole life, so I want to continue that. I want to I wanna have a good family. I want to um, live a different life, unconventional, uh, free. Free, I want to maybe at a certain point in my life stop everything I do and just go, go somewhere I've never been and live with people I've never been around. Um, truly, the world's such a big place and the U.S. is great. I love, I'm American, I'm Colombian, I love South America, but I, I want to see the world and that's truly my, some big part of my life goal just seeing the world and experience the world mentors people you look up to so growing up I come from like a very successful like two sides of the family my mom's father was a was a 
world class engineer. Um, but then he started his own um, non profit organization. It's called Fundacion Animal Safe. So what he does is he he helps animals, mainly dogs. He has like the largest dog shelter in South America. Um, and he, right now he has close to a thousand dogs. His li- his that's like what he's been able to accomplish from that standpoint has just been such a big influence to me. Even though I've been here most of my life and not around him, it showed me that I can do what I can do if I really work hard at it. And then on my dad's side, my dad, uh, my grandfather Antonio, uh, he's one of the best doctors in his field. Um, very successful, great, genuinely human being, sweet man. From a family standpoint, obviously my dad and my mom. Since then, I, I really, I'm really looking to find a mentor. Um, after I get, graduate college, I don't know online people I meet, or someone that has their own company already um, and is working with the type of people and the type of things that I want to be doing. Um, so once I get out of here, move out to Vegas or California or anything, I really want to find someone who's going to impact my life because I know I have what it takes. And friendship-wise, I have so many friends that I wouldn't be me without them. Like people that have had so such big influences uh, on your life, in my life. Like people that already started their own company and, and gave me a guide, or people that challenged me to be better because they're working as hard, or people who are out of the box, creative, thinking abstractly, making me think about myself and view the world a different way, or people that have swag and have everything and have like that whole it factor and has impacted my life on how I I treat people or how I act or how I walk. Where um, you want to be. Who I want to be is I can't I can't say that I'm my own person. I'm, I'm everyone that I've ever met and everything I've ever done. I guess I did a lot of it myself. Obviously um, university my family helped me out with that and that was a big investment to where I am today. I haven't really put a crazy amount of money in it. I got a credit card. I bought my first camera ever. And since then, it's really been like the visual aspect of the company. It's something that I can really show the world it's and tell it's how I see the world. And it really does help. So I, I mainly done a, a bunch of like the graphics or the ideas myself and have just invested in a few equipment materials. And right now I'm looking to spend more money on building a really great website and hiring new people to get on the team. So that's going to be my next step, which is going to be definitely uh, more extensive than what I've been doing now, but I feel it's necessary to reach that next level. And from a spiritual perspective, having this company, it takes a lot of energy. I want to, I need to surround myself with the right environment. Uh, the right people for me to be able to be as healthy uh, as possible, for my soul to be as healthy as possible. There's a lot of people out here that hate, that are negative, that don't support, um, but that happens to everyone. Um, People people encounter that in every industry, every line of work, every walk of life. so I really need to focus on building the right environment for me so I can keep growing. So my, my soul and my spirit can keep feeding off what I give out to the world because I need to take in what I give out to. Good vibes only. Good vibes only, yeah. My life experience, but just seeing the world and living the world in so many different ways and places and, and, and people like I said, my family, like the people behind me, is giving me the vision for the people in front of me for the future. What really motivates me is my dream of changing people's lives through what I can do with other people, collaborate with. Kobe Bryant inspires me. Michael Jordan inspires me. Tupac inspires me. All these people, like I grew up listening to, watching, admiring. Man, when that when Kobe died this year. I freaking cried for a week. I didn't I didn't realize how impactful that guy's mentality 
was on how I lived. And I'm not saying uh, uh, I'm Kobe or her. I'm saying I'm trying to be like him. I'm trying to be like that. I'm trying to have that mama mentality in everything that I do. And I feel like that's 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 seeing the world like that and living the world like that is what it's going to get me to where I want to be. I feel like it's necessary to be your, yourself, be your freaking self. Uh, so many people get caught up in, in trying to act a certain way or be perceived a certain way or talk a certain way or walk a certain way, but being your genuine self is going to give you that confidence because the world's going to treat you the way you want to be treated. If you act a certain way that's not like you, then you're not going to really be a reality. I, I like to live in my reality um, and, and keep getting uncomfortable with my reality so I can grow. Uh, getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. Living out your comfort zone. Living out my comfort zone. Meeting so many people that are going to challenge me and, and, and change my perspective on life. Close-mindedness is not going to get you anywhere. So, like, if you open your mind, you open your heart, you open your soul, you, you wear your heart and your sleeve. But with, with, with strong fists, too, and be strong, um, you're going to make things happen. Like, you, you can't be scared to be yourself. Any other bits of information that you would like to... Follow me on icon.mgmt or Icon Visuals or Isaac Iglesias on my IG. It doesn't matter. Link in the description. Um, you got to make sure to hit the subscription. This Indulge. This Indulge is going to change this world, man. It's already changed my life today, so I can't imagine what it's going to do tomorrow. Thanks. All is nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, man. Anything?